Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Today, I'm going to show you how to build your first house. That's right. Build your first house. And we're going to finish off the rest of this thing of chopping the trees and all that. It's actually quite easy to do. Not a whole lot to it. So uh, let's get right to it. First things first, make sure you have your stone axe. If you're curious on how to do that, check back with my previous video. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to get the straws and you want to cut more trees. But while you're going there, remember to hold down the E key like this. Pick up a lot of these sticks. You're going to need a lot of these. And I mean, when I say a lot of them, I mean a lot. Not just a little bit. You're going to need to farm the whole darn place here. So we're going to get over and get the reeds, but uh, we're going to get some logs while we're at it. Let's see. Reeds are down there. The thing that you have to do when setting this up is what's really important is you need to get a flat area to build the house so there are a couple good flat areas here none of these are too good but um, you want one that's near the water so what you want to do is start looking around here near the water and doing that and let's see see how I'm just going by and picking up branches I'm like a branch scavenger and let's see more branches you're gonna need these branches like ooh, what was that new level okay so here's another thing I want to point out I did level up a skill and the way I did it is by doing an activity like uh, scavenging branches and by doing this one more point into extraction and what this will do is it'll um, how good you are in terms of uh, felling trees and mining. So this means the tree is going to chop down a little bit quicker. You can go and get like this here, which is woodcutter and 5% faster logging, 5% faster digging, uh, one more skill point for extraction. Let's just go ahead and get this. To get this, press F and you're going to spend it on this. And it should expend. Oh no, excuse me, it's over here. My bad. So now we're going to actually give it to survival knowledge. Just go ahead and increase that. Okay, so we're going to do that. And we did it. And like I said, keep going by, picking up this stuff. And this area, okay, this is about good because we're near the water and all that. Okay, let's go ahead and start chopping. You got to get up and become a tree hugger. Hug tree, very close. So cut trees, just cut the trees while you're at it. And ay, ay, yeah, and get that. Keep in mind these logs are heavy, so you don't want to pick up too many. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is in real life, these things would weigh a ton. That's a log? That didn't look like a log to me anyway. So now we're a little bit slower, you notice. We need to get straw and cut more trees. So let's go ahead and straw is right down here. See, it says read. Just hit collect. You're going to need a lot of this stuff. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and drink some water, drink some nice polluted water. It's good for you. It'll make you go really all the time without even thinking about it. Look at this. Reeds, you want reeds? We got them. And you just come out here, here drink some water. Yeah, how I feel. Like, yep, see, <laughs> look at the sound. We get the reed. Okay, so we got the reeds. Good, we got straws. But I would get some more because you never know plus you can sell these guys and you're not going anywhere anyway just keep pressing that button hold down the e key and now we've cleared off a nice little track here and maple branches and we're going to build the first house but we got to cut more trees and the problem is we're carrying too many logs that's right log jam okay so let's go ahead and get this this kind of looks like a flat area right around here and I think it's kind of nice because everybody wants to live with beachfront property right near the bridge yeah okay so now we're carrying a lot of stuff we're gonna have to offload some of this you can see right here we have too much weight I want to point out a couple other things this is your food indicator you need to eat some food as time goes on so watch this highlight this hit F to eat food notice it goes up just really slowly like that that just shows you right there that apple's not really efficient. This one over here with a skull, that's poison. And what does this look like over here? Yep, looks like dog poop. Well, that indicates how stinky you are. And uh, you can't let it get too high because otherwise you can't 
have any luck with the ladies that's right in this game there are ladies and even though everybody stinks in the game you got to smell better than they do so hygiene is of importance later on and the way you do that is i'll show you about that later let's start dropping off these logs and we're just gonna hit x let's drop a bunch of drop all these logs off in the ground here and what you're gonna see is woo that's one log wait wait i think it just dropped one and I, or did i drop them all yep i dropped them all so anyway i guess that represents five logs let's go ahead and you look over in the lower right your stone axe is wearing out but believe me this axe is good enough to get you enough tree material there's shrooms over here if you love shrooms these are can eat i don't think these are psychedelic so uh, just get them hi and yep and you can just leave your logs right there because we're gonna build right around here hi i don't want to get this how nice it'd be to have a chainsaw no chainsaw oh we'll pick this up oh don't worry about that look at how strong i am wow and bonk and hit there we go got oh that's a big log look at that holy smoke gonna make some big crazy stuff so we gotta cut one more tree they're just counting tree cutting let's take on an easy tree they're all the same giant redwood and scrawny tree same deal now we can build the home hi and just whack this tree in half gonna whack them all okay so now we've just chopped all these trees up so let's pick up the log and this that's eight logs see that notice one log looked better than the other now we can't move at all okay so now what you want to do go into here you need to use the hammer and press number three let's say that's going to sign it to hotkey three and i'll tell you what it is hammer time now okay so with hammer time what you do is you can uh, change your building mode and hold the right button down or you can hit the Q key right with this you move this dial to wherever you want move to top where it says building click on building look at this you can get storage resources survival but no we want to build house okay so notice simple house is that's all it takes is your six logs okay and this one up here not enough technology we can make a simple house a bigger a simple house with a simple small house we can make a bigger one but you need to get the technology and the way you get the technology is you level this up so let's go ahead and do that and whoa look at this big thing and now you spin around like this okay see this one is a decent spot right here because it's green so you can build there but i prefer to put it over here close to the water because that way when you need to get a drink you just walk outside and go oh, that's too close your right route here is good and this is just for educational purposes and the reason why is in real life i think you need a bigger area because you're going to build more stuff because you can only build like one here and there but for the purposes of this tutorial let's go ahead and build move up to the wall and just hold down the left button and just start beating on it and look at that and just beat it hard until it magically appears oh we need some logs that's right so what we're doing here picking up logs like this and we're gonna be slow come on come with us yeah we're really really slow okay let's get in here I'm gonna leave the front door open so you can see what's going what's up with this see the the roof look at that eight straw one log okay so let's go ahead until straw goes to zero got that suddenly who turned off the lights it's getting dark in here and I don't like it so dark but we got a lot of sticks okay now if Hurricane Katrina comes by we'll be okay oh he's winded all right okay he's working hard working man Hoi! and we need to get more of those this one we just need a log okay so beating on the wall is not going to help it so let's go ahead and I'm sure we need some 
Now this, where's those other logs we had over there? And magically we take some things off. Okay, let's get sticks. And notice the time of day is changing. You gotta get busy, you gotta work hard. And maybe have a couple mushrooms to, to spice up the experience here. Okay, get the birch. While you're here, just spin around. We're gonna clear cut this whole area here. Anything else? There's twigs. These, yeah, amazing. These are actually logs. Nothing here. Okay, let's go back here. And there we go. Got a door. Sticks. And got it. And this is a water wall. And you got to go through the whole thing. And this thing up here, see, good thing we kept all those logs. Gonna work on that roof. It's so nice that every. Oh, gotta get some sticks. So, the search for sticks continues. You would think these are sticks, but they're not. So, there's plenty of sticks up there. Let's go over here. It's getting late at night. Let me look back at the house. We do probably do need a few more logs. Let's check to see how many logs we have. We have one log and one log only. Let's switch press number one. Let's switch to this. Oh no no I want to I want to get this up. There you go. Nice. Oh yeah. Hi, oh, and oh, super log one. Okay, press number three, go back to the hammer time. Let's go ahead and complete this before nightfall, and I'll show you why. There you go, and that's how you do it. Hold the left mouse button, beat away at the wall until the magic happens. There you go. If only home building were so easy, I expected that oh, I need a lot. Okay, so now you see in the lower left hand corner my food is going down. Watch what happens when I eat the flatbread. Watch this. Whoa, look at that. Was that a lot or what? That's why you want to work on flatbread. Come on, one more wall. Let's get this thing fixed, and I think this will do it. Uh, it's not done yet. What are we missing here? Anyway, it's time to get some water. It's getting nighttime. And yes, yeah, slurp it up. Ah, oh, roof. Needs five straws. Okay, so that's got to get back down here. I think that's five right there. Let's run back over there. Did it. There you go. Got it. And just in time too because nightfall is going to come and we don't want scary stuff to happen. So there you go. We have now, oops, seasons and sleep. There are four seasons. Here's one gripe I have about the game is the Seasons are very, very short, and I would like it to take longer so you could do more and look around, but man, I think it's like three days and the seasons to change, so uh, you don't get a lot of time. You got to get out there and hustle, like as in an RTS. You got to get busy like never before. So set a rabbit trap, wooden spear, stone knife. Okay, so let's go like this. Press Q. Let's craft. We want to get the stone skinning knife. We need sticks and rocks. We're also going to need 
this thing's kind of getting worn off. I want to show you how to make this in the next video. I'll show you how to be a hunter. Okay, so we made that. Set a rabbit trap, wooden spear, and what does a wooden spear need? So this is how you do it. Wooden spear needs a log. Let's go out and get a log real quick. You want to do this before it gets too dark out. kind of dark in here because let's go back to this menu real quick let's go ahead and make the things we need to make when you make wooden spear I'd recommend that you make a couple of them when you go hunting but that's for another video let's go ahead and make uh, miscellaneous stuff let's make a trap we need to make a rabbit trap and these here I want to point out this fishing net here you need to level up your technology by doing repetitive tasks you basically have to grind your skills higher uh, that's how you get those up there. But first, let's go ahead and make this. It just takes 108 sticks. Go out here and let's put it somewhere. You can put it anywhere, actually. Uh, let's just put it here. And there you go. We did that. And you got to hunt for animals, which we don't want to do at night because we can't see a darn thing. Wish I could chop those down. See how it's getting dark? And let's go ahead and turn the lights on. Go here, hold E down. There, now we have the lights. Of course, back then they didn't have windows. They just closed these up. It wasn't until uh, glass was invented. So now you can go here and cook if you have other stuff, but this will also keep the temperature warm. Let's go ahead and make these spears, as I talked about. So let's start making spears like this. When I go hunting, I wanna carry at least three of these or maybe four of these. Uh, just because when you hunt, you're gonna see how I do it and I, uh, use these as missile projectiles. I don't try to go up and mano a mano the uh, monsters. The weight's 28 is what we gotta keep in mind. Let's see the log weighs. Oh, look at this. The log only weighs 2.5. The stick, oh, I have 98 sticks. Where is my spear? Okay, wooden spear weighs 4.5 and log only weighs 2.5. So you, what you can do is you can either make this stuff out there or you can carry it. Let's go ahead and check out what we have in our inventory. And in the inventory, we only have 14 gold. So one thing we want to do is we want to sell this stuff because we want to buy more flatbread. Open this up. And this is a good opportunity to just keep three spears. Three spears for, per monster. I mean per, per prey. And let's go ahead and put these uh, sticks in here. And hit F like that. The same thing with the straw. Move the slider here, put F to accept, and it puts it all into our little basket like that. If there's one, it would just send one like that. And uh, this way we can keep our weight down. And we'll put, this thing holds 50 right here, which is quite a bit. So there you go, we did that. Now I want to show you the cooking menu real quick. Later on, you will get the resources like cabbage, meat, salted meat. You can get carrots and meat and make a stew. Meat, you can go ahead and kill animals and uh, That'll be for the next video. Let's go ahead and close this and take a look at our nice place. As you know, it's getting dark outside. Once you're in here, you can go ahead and sleep until the next day, or if you're feeling brave, you can go outside and do that too. And I think that is not bad too, because you can go ahead and, and, and you can go ahead and do some building out here. There are other things you may be able to get out here, or you can harvest stuff because you can see the day and night cycle, but boy, does it get dark and it's very hard to get back. So let's go ahead and come back in here and uh, hunt a wild animal. That will have to be for the morning time. What I'm gonna show you is how to put this here. Let's go ahead and change the spear. It's gonna be number two. We're gonna put it in, press, highlight this, press number two to put it in there. And we're gonna do like this. And we don't stink too much which is good. Let's go ahead and hit the sleep like this. And good morning. We've woken up and the 
Fire miraculously went off. Look at our beautiful house. Let's go outside. And Rabbit Trap hasn't picked up anything, but I kind of like this here. It's a nice spot here. Wow, look at that. Yep, there it is. Okay, guys, that's how you make your first small, simple house. And good luck. If you like this, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, let me know. And this will let me know if I should keep going with this series. I think uh, there's a bunch of things I can go into and hunting. It's going to be a lot of fun in the next video. Thanks for watching.